And yes, you can. Hi friends, welcome to the Energy Independent Show. I'm Les Mood, your host, here to bring you product reviews, interviews, and hot news. We have news right here at home in Bakersfield, according to bakersfield.com, large solar project in Eastern Kern would be developers first community choice group, utility scale developer from Los Angeles that's already spent more than $1 billion building projects in Eastern Kern has signed its first agreement with coastal groups looking to leverage available land in the country's high desert to achieve ambitious renewable energy goals. Eight Minute Solar, not to be outdone by Seven Minute Apps, Energies, or Eratina Solar Center would provide 250 megawatts of power, enough to power 93,000 homes to a pair of community choice organizations that contract electricity on behalf of residential customers in the Monterey Bay and Silicon Valley areas. The agreements represent a new and growing market for a company that's integrating large photovoltaic solar arrays with battery installations to provide power 24 hours a day at prices low enough to compete with natural gas fired power plants. According to a paper by transportenvironment.org, they ask, or they say, why Uber should go electric. The paper shows that electrifying ride hailing services will not only lead to substantial CO2 savings, but also means better economics for drivers across most vehicle segments at the five EU cities analyzed. Looking at cost over the whole use time of the vehicle, a typical ride hailing driver, so-called total cost of ownership, TCO, the overall result is clear. Medium battery electric vehicles are on average 14% cheaper to run than equivalent diesel and up to 24% cheaper in Paris. According to e2.org, clean energy and COVID-19 crisis, May 2020 unemployment analysis, research out from E2, E4, the future, and ACOR show that clean energy unemployment hit 18.5% in May with 620,590 jobs lost since COVID-19 hit. The states hit the hardest have been California, Texas, Florida, and Michigan. The majority of all the jobs lost have been in energy efficiency. According to Apple News, NL is to launch hydrogen business as part of its green drive. NL, the world's largest private renewables player, is looking to raise its green capacity to around 60 gigawatts by 2022 from 46 gigawatts now. According to GreenCarCongress.com, electric utilities see truck chargers every 50 miles on Interstate 5. The study's final report proposes a phased approach for electrifying the I-5 corridor the first phase would involve installing 27 charging stations along the I-5 at 50 mile, mile intervals, intervals for medium duty electric vehicles such as delivery vans by 2025. Then later, 14 of the 27 charging stations would be expanded to also accommodate charging for electric big rigs by 2030, when it is estimated that 8% of all trucks on the road in California could be electric. According to The Guardian, climate emission killer construction begins on world's biggest air battery. The project near Manchester, UK will spare green energy to compress air in a liquid form and store it. When demand is higher, the liquid is released back into a gas powering a turbine that puts the green energy back into the grid. The new liquid air battery being developed by Highway Power is due to be operational in 2022 and will be able to power up to 200,000 homes for five hours and store power for many weeks. According to Clean Energy Wire, Germany's dependence on imported fuels, the EU produces large parts of its energy domestically with about a third from renewables and nuclear each and the rest mostly solid fuels like hard coal and lignite and some natural gas and crude oil. Still, most energy needs, about 60%, are met with imports. Almost two-thirds of the EU's energy imports in 2018 
consumer petroleum products, followed by gas at 24% and solid fuels at 8%. Russia was the main extra EU supplier in all three categories, 30% at petroleum, 40% at gas, and 42% at solid fossil fuels, followed by Norway for crude oil and natural gas. Energy independence is a hot topic, and that is something that we are working on. According to Electric, Tesla Model 3 gets a solar roof thanks to Lightyear. Lightyear describes its test program with the Model 3 and Volkswagen Crafter LCV. With their integrated solar technology, the Lightyear Research Vehicles will help to demonstrate the added value of integrated solar panels on vehicles as they drive around measuring solar yield. The vehicles will provide additional real-world data on vibration impact, shock absorption, and waterproofness. The testing is deemed crucial to ensure a safe, reliable, and durable solar system that will last the lifetime of light years, cars, and of other vehicles that utilize the solar roofs. In 2017, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that he pushed his Tesla engineers to look into integrating solar cells on Model 3, but they concluded that it wasn't worth it at the time. After the launch of the Cybertruck, Musk said that Tesla's new electric pickup truck will have a solar roof that will add 15 miles of range per day if that gives you some perspective and that's it for hot energy news thank you for joining us feel free to like comment and share and we will see you soon